today on visual reviews. I have nothing relevant for the background for this review, so just enjoy some Nintendo powers and Batman looking really, really constipated, traumatized. Uh, he's always traumatized, uh, whatever. And I'm going to blind you. <clears throat> today we're looking at Vector Man on the Sega Genesis. Oh. Oh, I love this game as a child. And man, this is a shiny box. It's kind of hard to see what's happening in person. It looks like the camera's picking it up better than my eyes are, which is interesting. Uh, yeah, it's very reflective, very holographic. It's cool to look at, but... I mean, like, you got like this... Yeah, okay, yeah, the camera's picking it up surprisingly well. So I guess we'll just get started on this. Vector Man, he looks fucking awesome on this cover art. You know, just not not connected. He's just balls made up of balls. You got this bug in the background that I can barely see, but you can see fine, apparently, which is so weird. Uh, the clouds. It's a really good atmosphere. This is the first level of the game. Uh, clearly, if you've, if you've played this game, you'll recognize this crap. Oh, look, there's even a TV. Those are uh, the monitors that you get items from. That's pretty cool. Uh, play to win. $25,000 seat back. Okay. I love how he uh, is pushing the E and the N a little bit, like he's messing it up in Genesis. That's pretty cool. I like that a lot. <laughs> Adds a bit of personality. And I apologize, I'm getting over a cold, so if I sniffle, I'm sorry. He's he's firing his blaster, his hand blaster, that looks pretty cool. Uh, wow. And that looks really nice. I, just, I love the look of that. I forget what that is in the game, but that's cool that that's in there. Really, just, I wish it was brighter because in person it's a lot harder to see, like I said, than it is on camera, which is really mind-blowing. I love this box art, but like I said, it's just very difficult to see. Um, as for the sides, again, very shiny. Looks pretty good. I've always liked the Genesis' um, you know, just red background with the stripes. Doesn't look too bad at all. And it's the same side for this, so it's okay. Top and bottom or bleh. Please recycle. Mmm. Yeah, this whole box is just shiny. Uh, camera? You need to be a teensy bit higher, if you will. Thank you. Oh, should I read all this? Sure, why not? By the year 2049, Earth has been turned into a toxic waste dump. Uh, I guess I didn't read that right. Turned into a toxic waste dump. Humankind has fled into space, leaving behind an army of mechanized... Horror bots? Well, I've never read the description of this. That's stupid. To clean up the mess, but when the Orbot leader, Warhead, goes haywire and starts a robot revolt, <laughs> only a lonely sludge barge pilot named Vector Man can pull the plug. Got some pretty good... I think all these are... Mm, that's not the first level, but this one is. No, that's like the first level boss. That might be the first level too, actually. That's pretty cool. You know, you got some good... They're not spoiling a lot of the game in the background. They're just showing you, like, hey, this is kind of how it is. They aren't showing any morphing abilities, but... And I like how the, uh... Yeah, the screenshots actually... The screenshots... Screen charts. <laughs> Jesus. They are not holographic or shiny at all. They're just normal. And they're very clear, which is nice. And the background is just, like, green slime almost looking kind of thing. And you just got the balls here and there. Way to win. What the hell is up with this? Randomly selected Vectorman game cartridges have a chance to win built right in. All my hands are shaky. Look at that. That is weird as shit, isn't it? Huh. The final screen will say you win. Okay, so essentially if you beat the game and this cartridge, I bet they all had it built in. It would say you win and then you could call in and win your money. Uh, there's a lot more to it, but that's, you know, the basic. Pretty nice little background. I've went on long enough about that. Ugh. Ugh. And the cartridge is not holographic. Gives you much better of an idea of what the background color is supposed to be. Uh, well, I didn't even notice the flags before. Jesus. <sighs> uh, the border of Sega. I've never been too big of a fan of the border they put on these things. But this is okay. I like it. I had to put that on there too. Sega put too much shit on their cartridges. But I guess it's okay. That's a good looking little cart. I like it. It, it looks pretty good in color. I almost like it better than I do the box. But, I don't know. Then again, the box is pretty good. Never mind. I take that back. And I do have the manual. So, uh, yeah. Genesis manual sucked. 
they were well, advertising Comic Zone. They're bland, black and white. I don't think I've ever seen a colored Sega Genesis booklet except for like a sports one. Uh, crappy manual. Nice box. I just wish it wasn't so damn shiny. Really good cartridge, aside from the Genesis border, but you can't get away from that. Uh, it's not as bad as the border on all the SNES boxes. Anyway, like if you enjoyed, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Thank you.